Got my award from Mari Tool from the uh, Cam Challenge, the Autodesk Fusion Cam Challenge. Pretty excited to try these out. I got a bunch of, uh, well, they're not all shrink fit, but got a bunch of shrink fit holders. I'm gonna try out my new little shrink fit spinner hacky gadget too. But definitely stoked to get these. All right, so this one's just a quarter inch, and this is basically the little uh, spinner I made. So basically the whole idea of this little hacky gadget is just all it's going to do is just spin the shrink uh, fit tool when you're heating it with the torch. So a tool just drops right in there and it's one handed but plug it in and the motor is just going to spin it. And how it works is it has a little motor, a little o-ring on it and friction, basically a little spring on here. Hold it against that, and that's how it works. So let's give it a shot. Just gonna use this little map gas benzomatic torch and four flute uh, ball end mill. Go up to hold it, and try to figure out how to prop my camera up, and I'll see how this goes. All right, this section is going to be a little boring, but I'm going to let it play in real time so you can kind of see my first experience trying this out just uh, without any practice. So I should have let it heat up a lot more before I try to put the tool in. And then, again, I probably should have put some kind of clip. I like even maybe one of those little metal paper clip, uh, alligator clippy looking things on there. And then that would have been a depth stop. Time I'm touching it, it is moving a little, but again, I totally should have just waited and put it in after it's already heated up. It kind of got stuck a little bit, and again, every time I'm kind of pushing on it a little bit, it is moving a little bit, but it's probably not the most efficient way to do that. That, and it's also heating up the carbide, which isn't a huge deal because it's not getting too hot. And like I said, here's where that little stop would have came in handy. Yeah, that's about where I want it. A little finicky, but not bad for a first try.
think I overheated it a little bit. Hopefully I didn't do any damage, but. Meh, yeah, we'll see. This is all cold to the touch though, which is pretty awesome. I was kind of worried about that, but yeah, it's totally cold to the touch. Oops. That's hot. <laughs> All right. All right, so there it is. It's uh, cooled off to the touch. And basically, uh, I think it worked pretty good. I'm not sure if they make, but if not, I'll make some kind of little springy clamp that you can put on these so that, you know, it stops at the depth you want when you drop it in. And I'll try to drop it in after it heats up a little more first. It got stuck the first time. But uh, that, and again, I'll start, I'll start heating from a little lower next time. I think that's gonna be the ticket, but works pretty good. So we'll see how it is coming out uh, once, you know, it needs replacing, but hopefully it'll be just as easy. Make sure to check out my Instagram if you're interested. It's just instagram.com slash S2Jesse. I got a ton of random stuff on there.